Here we go. I was a little bit fired up yesterday on the Daily Oracle. So I'm curious what sort of energy is going to flow through today because this is a topic that I do get fired up about for sure. So get ready. You'll want to have a pen and paper for this one. This is, we're going to deep dive into some training here. So you might want to definitely take notes. Plus, you can also download your Energetic Alignment Business Activation. So I'll pop the link in the comments and the link is in the title of this live stream as well. So let me just pop this in for you now. And are we ready for this? So yes, I was fired up, but this is, training is really for you if you are planning to, thinking about, or already run a business, whether online or in person. Hey, Matthew, if you are in the spiritual healing industry or any industry for that matter of fact, if you are applying for jobs, can't get jobs, wondering what the hell's going on, if you are a sensitive empath, intuitive, light worker, healer, whatever you want to put a label on yourself, if you sense energy and do healing to other people, you are going to want to watch this training, right? Now, this training is also for you if you have ever said before in your life the words, I can't afford it, or whether money is the thing that stops you from doing the things you really want to do, whether it's that course or buy that thing or whatever it is, right? This is going to be a bit of a trigger topic and trigger training because a lot of people don't like facing their money reality and that's just a reality about most of society but when we really start to look at charging for our services and really moving away from the nine to five and actually doing what we love we're gonna have to face our money story right so I'm excited to dive into this today because it is a big it is a big topic and it can be very, very triggering because people are like, oh, I want to like do this thing and I want to do this thing, but they're not willing to look at their money. And I'm like, well, how's that going to work, right? Money, people are like, well, money, as Grant Cardone says, right? Um, what does he say? He says, he says, money doesn't buy happiness, but it does buy something else. Like, you know, it's like money doesn't, they say money doesn't buy happiness, right? But it actually buys you all the things you want. So does that equate to happiness and it's a little bit different in a sense of like you know like we don't fill ourselves up with happiness right with you know it got, got to come from the inside out but it money helps us in life right as i always say poor people can't change the world but rich people like wealth in the correct hands can do really amazing things in the world right like conscious people having money oh guys we need more of you like this is what we have to look at to enable ourselves to step up and be able to live the life that we want to so we can help and serve more people isn't that the point of the game anyway right how are you going to do that when you can't even pay your own bills right like that's a big one yeah it's a big one not many people want to face it so yes this is a very triggering live stream i'm giving you a disclaimer get ready to get very uncomfortable on this training right know that when we're uncomfortable we're growing and we're on the right path yeah all right so let me just pop this in the comments let me know you're here there's a few people here say hi um so download your free energetic alignment energetic alignment if I can spell today business activation you don't even need to give me your email to download this today so that is that and I'm going to as always share this so that um, more of you guys can jump on for this free training I'm just gonna turn myself off there all right so oops gonna unpin that one Pin this one, pin the correct one, Hannah. <laughs> so download your free energetic alignment business activation. You guys can grab that for free. It's actually straight out of the life purpose mentorship of a training. I'm going to dive deeper in, in the life purpose mentorship. So hi guys, see everybody joining live. It's awesome. Let me share this and be super present so we can start this training. All right. You're going to have to excuse me doing the, what is it? The, the Aussie wave. <laughs> I'm really out in the bush. So in the outback, as you guys probably know, watching, watching me at the moment. 
All right. Hi, John, Benjamin, Alina. Welcome, welcome. There's lots of you guys joining. It's great. Freaking awesome. All right. All right, so who gets a little bit uncomfortable about money or who is like, okay, yeah, Hannah, I'm really ready to face my money story. Actually, let me reframe that. Who would like more money in their business? Who would like more money in their life in general? Who would like more money in their bank account? Give me a yes, give me some love hearts. Let me know if you would really like some more money because, well, I'm curious. Give me some love hearts or if you if you don't give me some likes right if you're like nah i don't want more money nah it's so good nah i'm all good <laughs> right like give me some love hearts if, if you would like some more money yeah all right kelly april hi 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 everybody hi 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 yes you would love more money okay awesome 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 okay so my next question then is yes please yes everyone's like, yes 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 of course right who doesn't want more money so then i ask you are you clear about how much more money you would like exactly like are you clear on the specific amount <laughs> more money and it's really like it's really interesting right because a lot of people get uncomfortable about money and the thing is people are like well i don't know i just want more money and i'm like well how much and what for and you know what I mean like are you guys clear or not clear like give me some figures like type it in type type in how much a week you'd want like you should should be clear yeah yes yes financial freedom not necessarily money okay who said that hang on a second okay Benjamin okay so I'm gonna pick this apart and make you guys really freaking uncomfortable right so financial freedom and not necessarily money. So explain to me exactly how you can do that, right? How you can have financial freedom without money. Let me know. I'm really curious about that, actually. <laughs> really, really curious. 2K a week. Yep. Awesome for clarity. 5K a month to start with for next year. Awesome. 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 So you guys might be really triggered on this live stream and please know that that's okay, right? Know that when you're triggered, know that when you're uncomfortable, it's like that that shows you you're like, okay, we get fired up or angry or pissed or whatever, right? Like it's really important, yeah? Because we have to be clear on our money. We have to be clear on our money. 7K weeks, awesome. Yay, that shifted from the other day talking to you. I love it, love it. Josephine is working with me privately and I know what we've been discussing and I love seeing that that's just bumped up a bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the reason I ask you about the clarity, right? So Robin says I have 10k a month goal for this year just to prove I can. Okay, a couple of things there. So awesome for clarity. Yeah, so Kylie 4k a week, 4k clear weekly combined income with my partner. Awesome. Just awesome clarity, right? And the reason that I say this to start with is because the universe loves clarity. Which, that'll be enough, mate. The universe loves clarity and money needs a purpose. Yeah, write that one down. The universe loves clarity and money needs a purpose. We have to be clear about how much we want, how much we need, how much we want, we have to be clear saying, oh, I just want more money. It's like, there's no clear clarity on that, right? It's like just saying you want more money is like, eh, what for? The universe is like, there's no purpose, no purpose, not clear. It's like, yeah, more money. It's like, yeah, I want more air to breathe. It's all sitting there. Are you going to take it? Right? 2K a week. Okay, awesome, awesome. Love these figures coming through. So April says plan on making a lot over time, but then... But 5k a month would cover everything I need and then some. Yeah. So having that clarity and so plan on making a lot over time. So even like getting clear on what that is. What? So in like six months time, you'll be at 10k a month at, you know, 20, you know, like what is, what is it? And where is it at there? Yeah. Get clear on that expansion as well. Go on. Wooch, go and see who it is then. Go on. Go. Go, 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 go. 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 
<laughs> Sit there and bark. Wooch! Go and, Wooch, go and see who it is. Otherwise, don't just sit there. Go. Go on. It's my guard dog. The little one is the guard dog. The little one is the one you have to watch out for. All right. So 2K a week. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. These, this clarity is awesome, guys. Wooch, that'll be enough, please. Hey, come here. Come here. That's enough. Okay? That's enough. Sit down. That's enough. All the dogs are coming now. Okay. <laughs> so what happens when you live stream outside in the bush? All right. So get clear on how much you need. Yes. And then also on how much you want. Like, you know, like what is your needs? And then what is like the next, you know, like level up? What is the next level up? Next level up. And you're like, I don't need much. I just need this. And I was like, cool. Like, are you clear on that? Right. And then the next thing is we're getting really clear on your income and your expenses. Right. Like if you're not looking at your money every day, like, you know what I mean? Like people are like, oh, I only get paid once a month. It's like, yeah, you should be looking at your money every single day right? Whether you've got money coming in or going out every day is regardless of the point when you're first starting to build wealth, you need to be looking at every day. Tell me guys, tell me. We all have dogs. I didn't even notice yours. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. It's funny, isn't it? Like we, it's about like a baby crying. We don't even notice it, but then we all hear, you know, our own baby crying and we're like, oh, everyone can hear it. It's the same thing, right? So yeah, I have savings, goals, business budget, wish list for personal purchases, how much I want to put away each month. Yeah, being really clear on our money is really important, right? You'll hear me say it so many times. Now, I'm just making sure this doesn't overheat because I am outside in the shade, but it's, I've had some overheat before. Okay, so the next thing here right is say you're like building your business or you're like wanting to do this thing so you're really clear on your money you really you know like yeah so i need 2000k a week i want 5000k a week yeah so really looking at being clear is awesome yeah and then let's say you know like okay we are going to like you know you really want to do this thing and you really want to do that and you know and then it's like oh but i can't afford it right like if those words come out of your mouth you must remove them from your vocabulary. Let me know. Give me some ideas, guys, right? I really want to like prod you here, right? There's the guard dog. Can you see him? <laughs> um, so let me prod you here, okay? Why do we need to remove I can't afford it from my vocabulary, right? And the thing that I'm about to tell you, I'm going to tell you, <laughs> is because it's not actually true. You say you want to do this thing or you want to do that and then you're like, oh, but I can't afford it. Or you might actually say to that person, I can't afford it, right? Like, do you know what? You're just shutting down your throat. You're shutting down your heart. You're shutting down like all your chakras. Like, do you know why? Because it's not the flippin' truth. And you might, or mate, you're like, Hannah, that is the truth for me, actually. I've got this and this and this and I've got this and like, it is the truth for me. That's my reality. And I'm like, well... Actually, did you know that you're actually lying to yourself? And you might be like really triggered right now hearing this, okay? I told you. Is because, 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 because. The truth is, yes, vibration, definitely, right? Whatever we're affirming is what I always talk about. Journaling, mindset, affirmations, okay? You keep saying you can't afford it, you can't afford it. But the other reality is, and the core piece of this is that it's not actually the flipping truth at all, right? Because most people, okay, this is a bit of a generalized example, okay? But you can place whatever example on this analogy I'm going to give you because it's the damn truth. People will say, I can't afford it. But then they will go and buy their food or they'll go and buy their alcohol or they'll go and buy whatever it else there is that they spend their money on. Rent, mortgage, whatever that is. The truth is that they... It's not that they can't afford it. You might be like, oh, I can't afford that expensive course. And I'm like, Pfft. I bet you if you wanted that other expensive thing, you would find a way to make it happen. The piece here is every time you say those words, right, you are affirming to your reality and to the universe and you stay stuck. Yeah. When you start shifting those words and those vibration, like the truth is, is that you can afford it. The truth is you are choosing to place your money 
on something else. And that is the core truth. Now, when we talk about energetic frequency, when we talk about alignment, when we talk about clear intuition as crystal clear, the divine step number one to awakening your purpose, right? Your life purpose that I teach in the 12 divine steps. The divine step number one is honesty. Now, when I talk about honesty, I talk about all areas of your life. And I also talk about meaning finances, right? It is not that you can't afford it. It is that you are choosing to place your money somewhere else at this time. Now, when you start changing your vocabulary to match the truth of what's really going on in your reality, that is when your life starts to shift. You come into so much energy, you come into truth, you come into clarity, you come into a total different vibration because you are not lying. The 12 divine steps to awakening your life purpose, the number one is honesty for a reason that when we are honest and in integrity and authentic in all areas of our life, that energy ripples out. We stay clear in knowing what the truth is and what other people's truth is, is and where they're at. If we start lying, it is like a big piece of dirt on our aura. It is like a big piece of stuff in our eye. Like we can't see properly. Every time you lie, you cloud your energetic field. You wonder why you can't trust the intuition? I ask you, how many times are you doing these little white lies? even with your money reality because the truth is that you it's not that you can't afford it the truth is is that you're choosing to place your money elsewhere so remove those words number one on this training remove those words from your vocabulary so important right instead of that you catch yourself like i'm actually choosing to pay my rent this week i'm actually choosing to pay off that mortgage this week i'm actually choosing to do like that's the truth of it it really is 100% even the homeless people that might find money and they go and spend it on alcohol. Like, they're choosing that reality. It's not that they can't afford it. They're choosing to place their money on that item that's most important and most valuable in their integrity and in what's valuable to them in this moment in time. Right? Tell me if this is a big aha moment for you guys, right? How much can you feel the difference? Like, I can't afford it. And you go off and you do your reality and it's like a bit of shame because you're like, well right? It's a lie. That's why you feel that. Yeah. When you say, actually, I'm choosing to place my finances elsewhere at this time, but I'm really keen and I'm going to work towards that. Ugh, whole different vibrational energy shift covered in goosebumps. Huge, right? So April says, yep, I've invested in business coaching over time and it still serves me. Yes. It's just applying all I've learned and not letting life setbacks stop me. Yes. Let's talk about this too in this training, right? So Janae says, I'd like to work in a way which is positive and joyful for me and also contrib contributes positively to humanity and the earth. I think it will be my own business, yes, where I can set the energy and allow it to evolve as I do and be able to feel free to travel if there is a calling. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep, 100%. Yeah, on point. Yes, exactly, right? So this is like really important, guys, right? It's like the number one thing. You want to shift your money reality? That is like number one step. Well, looking at your money every day, right? Because when we're knowing how much is coming in, what we're clear on, like, is it a big blur and we don't want to look at it because it's really uncomfortable and we don't even know how we're going to pay stuff. And like, you know, when we're doing this, the universe is also doing this to our, to our money, right? What happens? What is the law of attraction state in all the spiritual teachings out there? They say, whatever you focus on expands. So if you're not even looking at it and you're over here, of course, this is going to expand. But what about your money? And you're like, oh, I want more money. But then it's like, but you're not even looking at it, right? So when we start bringing our energy onto our money, no matter how uncomfortable, and I want to point out it's only uncomfortable in the start. It's only uncomfortable in the start, right? And then it becomes a habit. And as we say, habits create our reality right? So when we really drop into looking at our money every day, what are we focusing on? Our money. Now, I just want to give you a little tip, right? Because for me, and I get this like kind of feedback or question all the time. It's like, but I've got this mortgage and I've got this debt and I've got this and this. So for me personally, on my money tracking, I don't necessarily say, you know, have it on there. 
like these are my debts, this is how much I'm below. No, I don't have that. I just have written how much is owed. So like whatever it is, 20, 30, 70 grand, like whatever that is, right? I have that written there. I know it's what I'm paying off, right? And it's also looking at, like I'm looking at 70 grand every day, every day, every day. Was the universe hearing? 70K, 70K, 70. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, that's what we're focusing on, right? Remember, the universe doesn't, you know, like recognize what's good or bad, or this is not what we want, or this is not what we don't want. This, the universe is focusing on what we're focusing on, on where we're spending most of our time and our energy, right? So, so Janae says, I see myself choosing to spend some money on avoiding life. Cafes, eating out, spending rather than energy on the things which really matter. A bit of a boom matter. Yes. Yes. A boom, big boom moment, I should say. Yes, definitely, right? Where we are placing our money, we are also placing our time and our energy. Mm hmm So awesome realization, yeah? All right. So let me just check where I'm on track here. Okay, so I'm just going to stick to this bit for a minute. Okay, so. Uh, okay, there's a lot to get through. I just stay on point here, right? I'm <laughs> just looking at all this stuff I've written out. Okay, so. When we start then going out into the world and doing our business and then we're like hearing and having people say, I can't afford it. Oh, that's nice, but I can't afford it, blah, blah, blah. I want to point out there's a couple little sections to this piece, okay? If we're like looking at clients in our business or potential customers or whatever it is, right? So number one, check in. Number one, check in. Do I say those words, okay? Because remember that everything in the reality is a reflection, yeah? Everything's a reflection. So am I still saying I can't afford it, okay? Number one. Number two is when we step up and out in our business for the first time, okay, usually there's a lot of kickback. Yeah, there's a lot of people might try and pull you down or tell you why you shouldn't do it or blah, 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 blah. Like it's kind of normal when you first step up and start doing yourselves calling, right? Or anything new, to be honest, right? Everyone's like, why are you doing that? And then like, oh, I'll join you, right? It's the thing, yeah? So when we look at it for money, usually when we step up and we start putting our services, you might hear it like lots, like I can't afford it, I can't afford it, I can't afford it. The thing is, you have to remember that number one, check in with yourself, right? This is your own fears as well about receiving money for your purpose work. Now this goes quite deep. There's a lot of threads here. You might wanna write these down or you might wanna watch the replay as well, okay? So with this, it's like your, your client your potential client, your customer is reflecting, or your client is reflecting your belief systems around money. Now, as I share in my Intuitive Healer and Life Purpose Activator, the certification training, so in my Trust Intuition course, right, to become a certified healer, I actually teach that the most powerful healers in the world look at all of their clients, look at all of their reality, every single person in it as a reflection of themselves. Now, when we do shadow work, especially when we're triggered, but especially if we've got some clients that are turning up with the same thing and, you know, like potential customers with the same words, <laughs> do the shadow meditation, right? You can use this shadow meditation for healing. You can use this shadow meditation for money and changing your money story because these people are just reflections of your subconscious in your reality. So when you look at it and not get like, um, you know, like, um, downhearted or put down or take it personally like oh nobody like, can afford it like you know when we actually go right I need to look at what's going on inside me and shift that within me right so let me pop in the shadow meditation here or you can find it on my website under the um audio meditations yeah so realityawareness.com and go to the audio meditations and the shadow meditation yeah so like I said you can use that for healing or you can use it for money as well. Go into that meditation with the intention to speak to that part of you that thinks it can't afford it. Or you can let the universe show you what, you know, it's, what you're being guided to see in that meditation. But when you're doing it to specifically clear something, I usually say do it with the intention to speak to that part of you that says I can't afford it. Okay. 
So that's really important, right? So when you really look at your clients and the people in your reality as what's actually going on inside of you, then you can really like flick and, you know, like shift really, really quickly. Okay. So this whole shadow work, like looking at the parts of you that are being reflected back. Now, the other part is when we see them as our fears. Yeah. So just like I said, you know, like it's, you know, when you start putting yourself out there, but then it's like, you know, um, you know, people are like, I can't afford it. So you go, okay, cool. I need to speak to that shadow part of myself, right? Number one, there might be other things that you could do that shadow meditation for, like, you know, like people putting you down or telling you you shouldn't do this work or like whatever the story is, right? That's so important to be able to continue to, you know, use that. Like I said, you can use that for anything, right? Anything that you triggered in, anything that, you know, all of that. Now, the other part about it is, um, uh, so every time we step up, you might get another wave of it, right? And I know for myself personally in all these years doing this now is that every time, you know, when I first stepped up, I was all I heard. I'm like, right, I've got to do this work because it's also my fears. Like I said, fears about receiving money for my spiritual gifts. Now, this is another really important piece to pick apart here. If you haven't done a past life clearing on, um, what is it? Like a past life clearing on if you were a monk or a nun or stuck in poverty, you know, experienced poverty, maybe even in this lifetime, um, you know, in a past life, right? Or gone through, like lived in lifetimes that were famines or anything like that. Like I highly recommend making sure you also do a section of healing on doing past life work to undo all those vows of poverty and the vows of being a monk or whatever spiritual guru who doesn't need any material possessions or, you know, or money. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's so important that you unlock and unhook yourself from those realities now because this can also be influencing what's going on, especially when it's like really in your face, right? And you're really triggered about it all the time, right? So let me just pop in the past life meditation as well. So again, you can use that meditation with the intention to release any vows of poverty, any vows of being a spiritual guru who didn't receive money for their gifts in the past life. Like that is a really important piece to unlock as well, okay? And it will be shown, like you just watch who's in your in your reality and who's in your clients and who's in, you know, your potential clients or customers or, you know what I mean? So that's really important, okay? All right, let me just check this comment. So Tina says, such a timely training. I totally caught myself saying I can't afford something today. Awesome. Yes, no worries, Alice. Okay, hey, Tabitha. All right, so really important to unlock those pieces. Yeah. And as I said, you know, like when I first stepped out, I experienced that quite a lot and did a lot of work on undoing the vows of poverty and famines and like stuff was, I was just like, holy moly. And it's so interesting, right? Um, yes, that has been me with poverty with past lives. Yeah. And it's interesting, right? I got to a point, you know, in my journey with all of this and I was just like, you know what? I'm so freaking sick of like seeing, um, so freaking sick of seeing this, uh, what is it? Like all this poverty past lives. I'm like, sh show me where this started, you know, like show me where this started. I'm, I get it. I was in all these past lives of poverty. I'm done with it. Like, you know, like take me back to the start, take me back to when I was living abundant, wealthy life and why I ended up choosing all this poverty now. Right. And what it took me back to is like the Egyptian times and some like, it's like some healer or some like some spiritual guru thing that was living really abundantly but made a choice and like got blamed for everything in the town, right? It was like this disease that spread and got blamed. And so like, I, you know, I got hung eventually and like, well, actually didn't get hung. I was hung, but I was held up on the thing and my guts were ripped out. Like, you know, it's like, it was kind of, it was full on, right? Sorry, it's a little bit gory, but this is what happens in the past life is you actually see how you die because it's in those moments that you're like, well, I'm never freaking living this life again, or I'm never doing that again, right? And that's the really blocks us from our purpose in this lifetime. So giving you little like tips here about how to unlock your life purpose as well, if you're catching that, yeah? So really, really important. Okay. So let's see. So yes. And then every time, you know, and then I started really like shifting and they kind of, kind of hit a bit of a plateau and then you have a big shift and you step up again, you notice you have certain people in your field, just like, like looking at like, Oh, well, um, you know, like they'll say something again. And I notice now that gets less and less definitely, right? The more I've worked on myself and stabilized this new reality, that's my no now normal. Plus also looking at, um, 
uh, you know, like every time I step up, it's like, like stopping in, you know, like I've created this reality where, and this comes into the next piece that I want to talk about with you guys, is that with this, what happens here is that we really come into a place of confidence within ourselves. Yeah, we shift out all these fears and we really see the reflections of other people uh, like they're showing you, right? Just how I say, you know, just like how you see um, spirit, you know, feathers or coins or angel numbers or like whatever it is, like just how you see all that, like that's really important to remember that spirit is also talking to you, not always through other people, but you'll hear it when it's through someone you're like, right, I need to look at that, right? Rather than someone telling you not to do the thing, right? Bit of a distinction there, but you guys know what I'm talking about. When you hear a message that comes through somebody, you're like, like, you know, you'd be in a crowded room or a busy shopping center and you like, you just, it's all blah. And then you just hear this one crystal clear conversation and you're like, that message right you guys let me know if you guys have had that experience before right all right abigail says wow unbelievable makes total sense yeah it's huge right it's really really huge yes so abigail says so your awareness is heightened is that the self-growth of the soul yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. so it's really interesting right people like oh and i know i'm jumping a little bit here but it's all tied into this kind of next space right people like you know, and I had this just probably about two or three weeks ago, like before I left home. And I was just like, are you freaking kidding me? I like, it was interesting. I'm like, I've just shifted up a level because I just copped it all again. And I was like, this is interesting. I've just shifted, right? <laughs> and so it's really interesting, you know, when people are like, like the specific email was like, oh, you should like all this, like blah, 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 how bad I am. And how I've got all this shit going on in my life. Like this is the person, right? Saying how bad everything is and you shouldn't be charging for your business. I thought you were a heart-based business. How dare you charge? Like, I don't know. They, they weren't the exact words, but that was the thing about it, right? And I was like, you know, you're a heart-based business. You shouldn't be charging whatever. And I was like, huh, that's really interesting perception, right? Because, and this is what I actually said to her. I said, we are spiritual beings on this earth in this human body coming to earth to experience earth right now okay and this ties into another comment i had the other day someone said to me i don't know the other week or whatever i said what did they say I said something about a business or a company takes time to build right like that's a reality and there's different realities in that time to build, but it's a whole nother live stream. So the person said, oh, no, that's not right or whatever the exact words are. I don't remember. That's not right because our new earth doesn't involve money or companies or businesses. And I was like, oh, I'm not even going there, right? I got so fired up because this is how strongly I feel about this, right? This is what spurred on the training, plus all the other bits and pieces that have been adding up. Like, I need to talk about this on a freaking training, and this is so important, right? Because there is a reason, right, that we only live for currently around 100 years. I personally always have felt that I'm going to live for 130, and the way the Earth's going, I'm like, yeah, it's good, like 130 with all the technologies and whatever, right? That's just what I've said. There is a reason that the earth has been going on for eons. Human civilization, for example. There is also an example, like there's also a reason that you as a soul chose to incarnate in your chosen physical body in this 20th century right now. Now for those people, you're probably gonna get really triggered by this, right? For those people going like, oh, that's a new earth, I'm not going to be a part of the business world. I don't like money. I actually hate money. It's the cause of all evil. Blah, 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 blah. Like, guys, like we and you have chosen, we as a soul family have chosen as these conscious, aware, connected, super, super, super sensitive, highly empathic souls to incarnate in the 20th century with the world in chaos like it is because your little soul inside you said, I know how to fix this. I'm going to incarnate and tell them what to do and show them how to do it, right? Talk about life purpose, starting to awaken. Now, if you are judging humanity how it is, if you are judging companies and businesses and money and how much hatred is because 
because you've formed these belief systems from your family systems plus all the media and everything that you're watching and how bad the government it is or whatever the flip you've watched, right? And created these belief, belief systems from. There is a reason that your soul chose to incarnate. Now, you're probably really passionate about something. You're probably really fired up about something. You probably, you know, they probably hate it because your soul's going, wake up, we have the solution, okay? Your life purpose is a unique divine blueprint that has a solution to awaken the consciousness of humanity to see what you see so that we can shift back to the new earth that people say there's no businesses and money and whatever, like, I don't know, whatever's right. Is that gonna happen in the next 50 years? I don't know, but if you're gonna sit there and judge all the people who are working to wake in the consciousness of humanity and you're sitting there bagging out money when this is how our current reality functions in society, your soul chose to come here to not only awaken the souls to see what you see, right, with the divine awareness and the conscious awareness that you see, right, your soul has also chosen to incarnate here in the 20th century to, to figure out how we actually function as this beautiful soul who's full of love and light or what, what all the things are, I don't know, who really knows, right? Souls are love and light and we should only be coming from the heart, right? Like this here, this is your like gift to self. This is your soul's calling to figure out how we function in reality with all of our energetic senses, with all of our chakras, not just the heart. The heart is one chakra right going on the earth and harping on about oh that's not right because that should be the new earth we shouldn't be a part of that money and like i'm like man like what do you pay your fucking bills with it these days right excuse my language but i'm like do you know what i mean like this is really important okay this is so important yeah so when we look at our heart it is one chakra out of like most of society seven chakras at the moment right I teach with eight, including the ears. There is actually technical thousands of chakras in your body, but most of consciousness society knows the seven. I teach the eight. Why would you be walking around only functioning from your heart? Trying to do that will create resentment, anger, frustration, hate. Why? because you're not functioning at your full potential, which is all of your chakras. Now, the base chakra down here, the root chakra, it's red, it's your physical reality, it's your sexuality, it's your fire, it's your passion, it's your financial reality, right? And if you're ignoring that, your base chakra is shut down. Most people's base chakras are shut down unless you've done work to open them. Fear is where it sits. Fear sits in the base chakra. We don't feel safe to be on earth. Like, what did I incarnate here for? That shit's wrong. Your soul chose to incarnate because it had an idea that could change the consciousness of humanity. That is the reality about it. And when you're not open to that and doing the conscious work to clear all of the stuff from your own vessel and from your own self so you can hear intuition clearly, by as simple as being honest in your reality, divine step number one to awaken your life purpose, in the 12 divine steps to awakening your life purpose is honesty. As I said in the start, honesty keeps your intuition clear. Being in integrity, being in alignment, being honest, being authentic, it keeps your vessel clear. Like you can do all the chakra clearing in the world, but if you're going out there and lying to yourself or other people, it's not gonna do a damn thing. You're going to wonder why everything's reflecting all this like chaos and um, like dark energy around you. It's like, man, you're freaking lying to yourself. You could be lying to yourself about even the relationship you're in, the career that you're in. And you wonder why things aren't manifesting and things seem to be going down and down. It's like, yeah, because you're not being honest with yourself. You wonder why your life purpose is not awakening. You wonder why things aren't happening for you because you're not being honest with yourself, all right? Let me check these comments. <laughs> okay, so yes, so April says, Kira, should we do each of these meditations on separate days? Yes, 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 thank you, good question. Um, unless your intuition calls you, right? These, these ones though, the shadow and the past life, they're pretty deep meditations. Yeah, they are pretty deep meditations, right? So um, do, you know, like do the shadow, 
and do the past life the next day. Or you could do the past life meditation in the shadow, you know, straight after. Whenever you do these meditations, please, you know, like when you log in, you'll see them, you'll have, um, you know, like there's a training video, there's like a 50 minute training video that comes with the past life meditation, right? Like highly recommend taking time to watch because they explain so much about the past lives, why they happen, how to use them in your daily life, where to recognize them, like all that sort of thing, right? So please take the time eventually to watch those training videos that are in there for a reason. Um, but yeah, you could do them. But if you say, you know, the intuition's calling you to do the past life like straight away, then I'd really look at, um, you know, um, so past life straight away. And then, you know, the next day you'll be like, yeah, I need to wait. Usually you wait about three days in between, especially for someone who doesn't really do this work, right? So it can be deep, but your soul might be like, oh no, I need to do it again, right? Because I also usually say you can do that past life meditation three times to um, clear out, you know, like to, to clear the thread, basically. Yep, training videos, check. <laughs> awesome. So Janae says, just getting it now when you talk about clearing your past life in Egypt. Yes, need to clear one to do with not owning your power. Yes. So in this, I do have a whole like free training on like, you know, owning your power as a light worker. Like I teach all this stuff in depth in the life purpose mentorship because this is where we're really stepping up in our spiritual business. You know, we've got a pretty good understanding of how we work with our gifts and our intuition and how we do that in our business. And then taking like the life purpose mentorship is really where we up level in our energetic frequency around, you know, self care, but also how do we receive money for our gifts? We clear out all the blocks and all of this stuff. So plus being comfortable with our power. Exactly. Right. Because you're like, well, I'm never doing that again because I was too powerful and look what happened. So I'm just going to go and live in these lives. Like, no, I choose not to do that anymore. <laughs> all right. All right. There is an energetic exchange. Yes, there certainly is. Wow. Yes, 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 yes. So Benjamin says, yes, taking from this that there is work I need to do on myself and just by what I need this week. Yes, open myself up instead of closing myself off. Yes, a brilliant reflection, Benjamin. Super love your awareness on that. Like it is such a big thing. We're like, I don't know, just more money or like whatever it is. It is a very closed energy. Do you know what I mean? Like it is very closed. But when we're super clear on how much money we need each week, then it gives, like I said, the universe loves clarity and money needs a purpose. Yeah, it's really, really important important. All right. So Abigail says, and that's why I swear my children are here daily teaching me life lessons for the new world. Yes. Right. And we have to be able to function in reality. Like this is why we are, have chosen to incarnate. Like if we were like, oh yes, the new earth, like, you know, we would incarnate in however many years that is away. Like, I don't know. Or we would incarnate in a whole nother dimensional universe where that already exists in a parallel timeline. Like there is a reason you guys have chosen to be here and choosing to not engage with all of your energetic chakras and frequency alignment. Like you might as well be walking around with like a, an arm that just gets in the way of everything. Like, do you know what I mean? Like why, would, you know what I mean? You've got two arms, you use them, right? And you wouldn't just be, you know, you've got seven, eight chakras, thousands of chakras. Why aren't you using them? right? To come from the heart, yes, but to align that with your money, this is what I say, poor people can't change the world, but rich people, wealth in the right hands can, right? In this right now, today, 20th century that you guys have chosen to incarnate in. Fall in love with your money, right? Watch your money stories. I can't because da 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 da. Remove I can't from your vocabulary to start with, like that would be the best place to start to, right? Yes, that's amazing. Must look into the ears. Yes. So let me check here. Okay. Training videos. Love this perspective. Love this. Yes, yes, yes. So in that download your free energetic alignment business activation, that is a free PDF. I'm just going to run through that now. This is like questions to ask yourself. So you can print this out. You can put this up on your wall. This is straight out of the life purpose mentorship. Obviously in the life purpose mentorship, I go into a lot deeper trainings into all of this, but these are like awesome checking questions to keep you in check, right? There's a few questions in each of the chakras that I go through. So let's have a look. So the crown, right? What the crown is purple. It's at the top of our head. This is where we open to spiritual guidance. This is where we open to a new reality. This is where we let the light in and it starts to channel down. So with the chakras, I also teach from the crown coming down, right? So the crown, what questions do you keep asking yourself, right? You want to talk about where your life purpose and your business is leading you. 
right? What questions do you keep asking yourself? For example, okay, before I started online, I had this like, it was almost like a, not a burning out energy. I was just like, I knew there was something else, right? And I was following people online and I was like, you know, I'd sign up to their freebie and then I'd get an automatic email. And then, you know, then there was this offer I could buy something. And I was like, how does this, like, what questions do you keep asking yourself? I was asking, I'm like, how does that work? Like my mind, like I, that was just a soul. How does this work? Like I sign up, but then I get an automatic email. How does that happen? Right? Like, and this led me to the online journey with where I am today. What questions do you keep asking yourself? Right? Are you paying attention to the ideas that are coming and streaming through you? What loose ends do you need to tie up and complete? What chapters need to end? What doors need to close? Okay, now this applies to life purpose and also money reality, okay? Because if we've got other things, you know, if we've got our money scattered, right? When we start looking at our money reality, we're like, Ugh, right? When we start to realize, we're like, oh, no wonder my energy and my money and everything, like, you know what I mean? It's tied in. Energy is money. Money is energy. You say you hate money, you're hating on energy. You're hating on yourself, right? So important to recognize, yeah? So this is really important piece, okay? What loose ends do you need to tie up and complete? What chapters need to end? What doors need to close? Now, it's interesting, right? Because when we look at the crown chakra, it's like the first the first chakra that I work with. We come down, okay? Now, you might be saying, well, why do we need to close chapters? Like, it's a whole new beginning, right? Exactly. So, we need to finish off old realities because this opens us up to new realities, to new ideas, all of this, yeah? So, when we look at... And, you know, what loose ends do you need to tie up and complete? What chapters need to end? What doors need to close? So the example I'm going to give you is in, so it would have been, it was just before I came online. So this, this, this is my examples, right? When I was like asking, you know, like, what did I keep asking myself? I was like, so I sign up for this thing. I get this automatic email. Like, how the frick does that work? Like, you know, they were the questions I was asking. Lo and behold, then the universe shows me an online course of how to build online courses. I'm like, ah, there it is, right? I signed up to that because it was on, you know, the sale thing that happens. And I was like, right. At that time, I was in the middle of writing the Chakra Consciousness eBooks and then also holding the workshops, right? I was writing the Chakra Consciousness workshops. I wrote a, a Chakra a month for nine months. Well, it was over 10 months. And then I like, I wrote it and then I held the workshop each month. So it was the crown and then it was the third eye. And like, I went through each month, right? And that was really big. And at the same time, I was also finishing my level two yoga teacher training. And I was also finishing level seven of the light worker practitioner training. Now I bought that online course because I knew that that was the answers that I'd been asking, right? Now, when you say, oh, but that was something you were asking Hannah. And I'm like, well, you really want to get clear in your intuition. You really want to trust your intuition. You want to get on your life purpose. You need to stop doubting any part of yourself, right? If you're asking a question, if you're receiving a message, that's not like, oh, that's my ego talking. Like, oh my God, I never even say that, right? I'm like, that message, I don't even question it, right? People might think I'm crazy. And I'm like, because I've done that for such a long time, I trust myself. Not a single little tiny part of my thread of myself. All of me is the intuition, Oh, I'm asking that question around, oh, I sign up to this thing. I get that email automatically. How does that work? Well, you might be saying, well, Hannah, that's like the material world. And like, how is that your intuition and life purpose? I'm like, well, guys, like, have I been helping you in my life purpose with technology in the 20th century that we chose to incarnate here so we can awaken the consciousness of humanity and like shift all the shit that we came here to sort out? Yeah. Just saying, just, just asking, right? So back to this, what chapters need to end, what doors need to close? The reason I'm giving you this example, right, is because I knew not to open that course, right? I remember it so clearly. It was December 2015, right? And I was finishing the level two teacher training, level seven light worker practitioner training. I was doing all these courses at once because that's what I do, right? And I was also writing the chakra consciousness books. Now, I didn't want to, I just kept saying to myself, like, get it, because it's, you know, like the sale or whatever. 
And then I didn't open it. I'm like, finish the chakra books, Hannah. Finish, just finish writing those books, right? And I did. I didn't open this until I finished writing those books. At the same time, I'm like, I need to finish level two and I need to finish level seven. Like, that is what I did. And I, like, spent the next six months finishing and completing all those chapters, right? Because then I chose into, it was like July 2015 or July 2016, sorry. I opened the course and I started working through and that's when I started coming online. Now, energetically, the reason that I'm sharing with you, what loose ends do you need to tie up and complete? What chapters need to end? What doors need to close? You will have a pull. You will have an idea. Are you paying attention to the ideas that are coming to you? This is your crown, right? Are you paying attention to them? Like you might know that you need to do that thing, but you're also like, oh, I've got all this other stuff going on in my life. It's like, yeah, make a plan, right? It was like, you know, me finishing up all that. Energetically, you are free to completely go on your life purpose. Like from July, 2016, like here I am, okay? Because I'm not like, oh, I need to do that thing. I'm not doing that thing. Like it's like, you know, energetically they're complete, right? Let alone you've got your certifications and you're, you know, free to then do what you're being called to do with that, right? So it's really important. What do you need to tie up? What do you need to complete? Okay, it's crown chakra. All right, how are we going here? This is a long, long live stream, right? All right, going through that now. Yes, awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so third eye, okay? So again, you can download this free PDF. You don't even need to give me an email for this one. So third so eye chakra, what signs are you noticing around the place? What are you seeing? You guys, people are like, I'm not clairvoyant. I'm like, do you see angel numbers? And they're like, oh my God, all the time. I'm like, that's your clairvoyance, right? We've got two physical eyes and one spiritual eye. It's no separation there, right? It's all third eye chakra. You're seeing the messages, yeah? Are there memories of your past coming to you to release? And are you taking aligned action steps towards your dreams? So your daydreams, your... Um, your nighttime dreams. Remember, I just did a live stream not long ago around your know, dreams, nightmares, what they mean, all of that, right? So when we talk about, um, you know, like, are you taking aligned action steps towards your dreams? You might be moving in a direction and then all these memories of your past, all these people from your past, like, come back. You have to remember that this is stuff to clear out. It's a bit like finishing the chapter, okay? It's the same thing. Okay, energetic threads. What do I need to close off? What do I need to finish, right? So that you can move forward, yeah? Are you taking aligned action steps towards your dreams? That might be spending time finishing off stuff, yeah? Um, it doesn't mean that you're not moving forward because remember, energetically, you're cleaning up, yeah? So ear chakras, what are you needing to move into that enables you to create the life you are dreaming of? What are the physical action steps that enable this dream to become, begin to come into fruition? So I know I said in the third eye, it is like, are you taking aligned action steps towards your dreams? right? And then in the ears, it's like, what are the physical action steps that enable this dream to become into fruition? So when we look at that, right, it's like, what are the physical action steps that enable this dream to come to fruition? At the ear chakras, they're deeply connected to the heart and to the base chakra, right? So when we come down and then we hit the ears, this is where reality really starts to shift, right? We've got this open of new energy and awareness and ideas. And then we come to the third eye and we're seeing a whole new vision and reality. And then at the ears, it's like, right, we're starting to ground it because now we're seeing it. Now we're starting to like change our physical reality because the ears, ears, <laughs> the ears heart and base, <laughs> right? Are really interconnected, yeah? So we're already starting to ground and birth new realities because our ear chakras are like big grids that come out and open and tap into new realities, yeah? Like this is where we tap into different dimensions and start collapsing timelines and the whole, you know, stepping and bringing, you know, past life gifts to now and actually like embodying them, right? Rather than being scattered all out through the others, yeah? So, what reality do you need to move into that enables you to create the life you're dreaming of, right? That might mean leaving an entire world behind. People, places, careers, yeah? What do you need to let go of to create what you're dreaming of? Throat chakra. Are you living the reality of what you say you want? And you might be like, oh no, but I can't, Hannah, because... Da -da -da. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you just say can't? Are you living the truth of the reality you say you want? 
What do you keep speaking about but not doing? It's a bit like the honesty thing, right? Same thing at the throat. The throat is all about speaking our truth. But what I've discovered is not just speaking it, it's actually living it because it's the thing from taking it from dreams and birthing it into reality, right? This is where we take physical action. We actually walk forward, yeah? And so with this, it's got to come. These ideas have got to come down. And this is where most people get blocked and we just live in our head and say we're going to do all these things, but we don't actually ground it down. This is why I come down with the chakras rather than coming up, yeah? All right, so... Heart chakra, are there old threads of people from your past energetically holding you back? What is your heart longing for? And what does your mind always wander back to while you wish you were doing this thing? Comes back to the daydreams, right? Where is your heart calling you? What is your heart and soul truly calling you for? And what's the ultimate freedom that lights you up? And I always give this question, right? And write this one down. You can always remind yourself, if money wasn't an issue, what would I be doing? If I didn't have all these responsibilities, what would I be doing? Right? They are threads into your purpose. They are. And you might be like, oh, well, I don't know how to do that. Or that's not possible. Did you just say you can't? Right? <laughs> All right, are you ready to truly trust your heart and follow it? Are you ready to truly trust your heart but actually follow it? Yeah? Solar plexus, where we take our power back. Where are you needing to say no to events, places, people, family and things so you can say yes to you? So, like Danaea discovered in this call, around... Oh, I've been spending all this time and money and energy at cafes and stuff when actually maybe I could be doing my purpose work with that, right? Awesome catch. Awesome catch. Yeah? Where, what can I say no to so I can say yes to? My soul. Yeah? What situations do you need to move forward into that empower you with more confidence in the direction of your dreams, right? What program do you need to say yes to? What reality do you need to shift into? What reality shifter do you need to take action into that empowers you, not disempowers you, right? Start saying, I can, or start saying, I'm choosing to actually do this. And you'll be like, oh, I actually don't want to choose to do that. But you are automatically choosing to do that. So then you'll be like, oh, right, and we shift, yeah? What actions can you take that empower you maybe to build your skill set or learn more things or enable you to get to the next step, yeah? Really awesomely important. Sacral chakra, is what you are doing nourishing you? Is there enough time to nourish you to do you? Or are you full doing things for everyone else? If not, what needs to change so that you can do you and nourish you, yeah? Stomach, sacral chakra is our stomach. We're nourishing ourselves. yeah? How can you expand into your new realities that you've opened up to? You can see them, you know them. Now we move into them, Yeah. How can you expand with the nourishment to support that expansion at the same time? So you want to expand our soul and this is a big part of your purpose and money and adjusting to all this energetic alignment of all that is, right? Your soul came here to master all of this, yeah? It's the reason why your soul that's ever expanding and loving and free and like infinite is stuck in this human body that's very limited, right? <laughs> at this point in time in the 20th century. Um, so how can you expand with the nourishment to support that expansion at the same time? So you might be like, yeah, I want to do this. And then you're like, but da, 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 da. And so catch yourself and then go, actually, how can I expand into this? I now, I now allow myself to know the answers about how I can move forward now. Yeah. Rather again, mindset's everything here. Okay. In what ways do you need to be supported? Sometimes we don't even know what we need. We just know it's a bit like the money. We're like, I just want more money, right? And it's kind of like, actually, I need to be clear about this. Let me get a pen and paper and let me take notes and write down exactly what I need, right? And if you're not sure, when you start feeling frustrated about your reality, that's an awesome time to ask yourself, what is it I actually need right now? Well, I actually need more money. I need this amount to do this and this. There's your clarity around money. Actually, I need more support in this. Actually, I need to clean the house. Actually, I need a cleaner. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, da 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 da, -da. Mm -hmm. Important. Okay, base chakra, tapping into the physical reality. What physical action do you need to take in your reality, whether it be business or personal life? What do you need? What do you keep complaining about? What is your intuition guiding you to do about this that you keep ignoring? So you might be complaining about something and you, then your intuition gives you the ideas. You're like, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I'll be able to do that when, no. 
right? Isn't it time to ground into that reality, to birth it, to live your life purpose instead of just talking about it? Yeah? Mooch, stay here, mate. Stay here. Mooch. Hey, come here. Come here. It's okay. It's fine. It's just a person. It's just, it's just a person. It's just a person. <laughs> just making sure he's okay. <laughs> Run in, go and see him then. Hey, go on. Go, go, who is it? I mind if he goes, I just don't stand there and bark. I did that the other day. I'm like, go and check it out, mate. <laughs> All right. So that is like going over so you can like print those out have them up on your fridge or wherever you see things all the time just to remind you right questions are a very very powerful thing right just as benjamin said in there i need to be open to you know these other new realities rather than just you know like thinking about it or like oh yeah i just need more money like it's a very closed thing because it's like it's not clear right when we ask a question we open up our energy field yeah we want to be open to receive, yeah? Delivery trucks beware, yes, <laughs> definitely. All right, so let me know if you guys got questions, right? Let me answer some questions and I'm gonna check that everybody, that I've, that everybody, <laughs> that I've covered everything I wanted to talk about. So yes, yes, yes. Um, okay, and so then the other little piece too, of course there's heaps here, but, um, where do we print this out? So um, on the link here, I'll pop it on my page um, as its own post as well after the live stream later today. But um, in the link in the comments, it's pinned to the top here. So it says download your free energetic alignment business activation. So you can print that out and pop that on your fridge or wherever so you can remind yourself. And if you feel stuck or frustrated or angry, like just go to that page, like go to those two pages there. Just go up to them, close your eyes and say, okay, what is it that is the issue that I need to deal with right now? And your eyes will like go to a thing, right? And you might've just done that in your mind, right? Let's do this now, right? Don't even need the piece of paper. Okay. So with knowing the chakras that I just went through and maybe one's already standing out to you, ask yourself, what is the main chakra that I need to work on right now? That answer, where did, where did your mind go to? Let me know, like comment in. So let me know which chakra came to mind for you because when you start there and you work on that one, that will shift the rest of your reality. Yeah. That'll shift everything else that is going on. That's your like doorway in of where to start. Yeah. If you're stuck anyway, but it's an awesome, like it's like choosing an Oracle card, for example. Yeah. It's awesome to tune in and you're also building your intuitive skills and muscles by doing that, by the way. Solar plexus. Yep. Yep. So start there with that one. Yeah start at the solar plexus which was where do you need to say no to events places people family and things so you can say yes to you it's so interesting right because you already said that what situ situations do you need to move forward into that empower you with more confidence in the direction of your dreams so are you more training and skills uh josephine was the throat i love that so much that's so amazing but of course, so Josephine, are you living the truth of the reality you say you want? Uh, what do you keep speaking about but not doing? Do that now, yeah? So Deborah is the base. What physical actions do you need to take in your reality, whether it be business or personal life? What do you keep complaining about? What is your intuition guiding you to do about this that you keep ignoring? Isn't it time to ground that in reality, to birth it, to actually live your life purpose instead of just talking about it? All right, so April says a throat chakra, but I can see I'm currently working on all of that, but there's still some weaknesses. Yeah, yeah, there's always, it's a bit like, you know, sometimes you might have a sore arm or something, and that's where, you know, the energy is building up and the issues are going on sort of thing, right? And we can really, um, you know, take that as a focus and again, like shift that because it's always shifting every day, yeah? So throat as well. Are you living the truth of the reality you say you want? What do you keep speaking about but not doing? Go and do that now. <laughs> so you can use that like an oracle, right? Okay. So what else have we got here? Let's have a look to check that I have uh, 
spoken about everything. Okay, the other thing. Okay, two other last important points. Okay, so back on to that place where your clients, possible potential um, people into your business say they can't afford it. Number one is that, again, you don't have to do this, right? But just like I am, you know, like training you guys and giving you this information to reset your reality and your mindset so that you guys can shift too. I do free trainings to educate my tribe, my following, my clients, my people on how they can shift in their money reality and what's worked for me. Okay. So you have to remember when a client, a potential client, sorry, a potential client, a potential person in your business says to you those words, right? Number one, you check all the things that we've spoken about earlier in the training, really important. But you have to also remember this really important piece is that that person does not trust you yet enough to hand over their money to you, right? People buy from people they know, like, and trust right? You probably go to the same supermarket all the time. You probably go to the same food shops, probably the same places most of the time, your favorite cafe most of the time. Why? Because you know, like, and trust it. And you probably love it actually, right? You know where everything is in the supermarket aisles. It's fast. You do it and you continue to shop there because you've been there before. You know it. You like it. You like these certain products. You go there and you trust it because you've been there a zillion times. You know, you're going to get the right things that are good for you rather than mucking around at other shops and wasting all this time and maybe not buying the right thing or or whatever right so you have to remember that these people in your audience you're building a relationship with them okay so this is why I don't always harp on about you know post every single day live stream you know like are you posting every day are you putting yourself out there are you building relationships every single day because if you're not people are gonna see and they're like oh yeah who's this person oh yeah I see them that's nice right? But people buy from people they know, like, and trust. So when we are building a relationship with these people, we're able to, you know, grow those relationships and usually eventually they buy from you. Now it's not to do that, but at the same time, when you're receiving that, I can't afford it, especially for new people in your field, right? It's really important just to know that, oh yeah, they don't, they don't trust me enough yet, right? And this is why continuing to put content out, helping people, free trainings, you know, whatever, like I give you guys Tuesday Tarot every week, I have for however long, right? Because it helps you, right? It's also building a relationship with you. Yeah. So I'm, and this is how, this is how, by the way, really important point, soulmate, clients and tribe are built. Yeah. You see someone's post and like, oh yeah, don't really think about them, but someone who's really helped you, genuinely helped you, right? Give me, give me a, like a thumbs, give me a like if Tuesday Tarot has not helped you. <laughs> give me a love heart if Tuesday, a love heart, if Tuesday Tarot has helped you in the years that I've been doing it, even just one week, it might have helped you, right? Who genuinely help you, right? It's so important. This is why I'm like, have you posted? Are you posting? Are you posting, right? There's a reason for that. People have to know, like, and trust you, okay? All right, so April says, I'm doing it now. It just hasn't yet all come together as you can't make it happen overnight. No, and this is why every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. Did you know when I began Tuesday Tarot? Yeah, when I began Tuesday Tarot, it was a little while ago, I went back through, I had to go back through all my Facebook posts for some reason, like, you know, and I was scrolling back through, scrolling back through. And I was like, it was like years, like when I first started it. And I, I was like, oh my God, there's like six people that commented on Tuesday Tarot. Six, six, six people. Now, if you guys comment on Tuesday Tarot and pick a number, and even those who don't pick a number, or sorry, they don't comment that they pick a number. There's so many more people, and this is so important to remember. There are so many more people that read your comment, watch your live streams, like watch you that won't like, that won't comment, that won't do any of that. There's so many of those people out there. I've had people book in and join my biggest programs. I've never even spoken to them before, but they obviously have been watching me, reading my emails, all of that, right? And this is why every day, every day, every day, turn up no matter what, right? Six people in the beginning commented on my Tuesday Tarot. Today, this, like, what are we, 2020, at the start of 2020, 
Um, there's over 500 a week between my Instagram, all my Facebook pages and groups, my emails, my blogs, like that's over 500 people, you know, and this is where it's like, as you say, April, right? It doesn't happen overnight. And this is why we must be consistent. We must keep turning up. And when your purpose calls you, you do it no matter what, right? You continue to do it no matter what. Now, um, so you have to remember that you are building a relationship with people, right? And it's not like, oh, I'm going to build a relationship with people so they can buy my stuff. Like, soul's purpose doesn't freaking do that. Like, do you know what I mean? It doesn't do that. Like, you guys will know that you, if you're doing your soul's purpose work, you're not doing it for the money. And this is interesting, right? Someone else had commented on my stuff the other day and they're like, oh, it's US dollars. Oh, I understand why people are doing that because it's just like they earn more money, right? And I'm like, I didn't say anything. And then they're like, oh, but it's like, um, you know, but then there's taxes and overseas charges. And I'm like, yeah, you can see it's not for the money, right? And it's interesting when mindset goes there. And like I said, money is a very triggering topic. Yeah. There's a lot of people who online who charge in US dollars. And for me, that, that you know, decision came in is because I think 99.9% .9 of the online systems and platforms that I use, they're based in the US. They all charge US dollars. Building a foundation, exactly right. It's so exactly what that is. So you're building a relationship. Now, the other little important life purpose piece who I can see that people have dropped off and this is the gold, right? I leave the gold to the last. This piece is the game changer, okay? When we look at life purpose, yeah? When we look at life purpose in being able to build this foundation, is that your life purpose is unique. Like I said, it's a unique blueprint that your soul chose to incarnate here on this planet, right? On this planet. Now your life purpose is unique to you. Now, little side note, some people say, some people say, oh, I wanna write a recipe book, but there's so many recipe books in the world. And I'm like, man, there's 8 billion people in the world. We all need 50 ways to be able to cook the same recipe. Like there is a demand for that, right? You have to remember that, number one. Number two is you have to remember that your soul has a unique life purpose. And you have to remember that when you are building a tribe, when you are building a following, if there is one piece of information that you want to take out of this live stream, this is the gold. This is the piece, okay? You are educating people not just in your tribe, not just in your clients, not just in whatever. I mean, like that's the main thing. But when you are birthing an entire new concept, reality that is here to shift the consciousness of humanity, right? Going back to what we said, you have a solution for the chaos on the planet or you would not have incarnated in the 20th century right now, right? Or the 1900s, whatever, <laughs> right? You are educating, right? Talk about the know, like, and trust factor and all that jazz. Like, that's a thing, right? Any marketing course will tell you that, okay? But the most powerful thing to remember with your life purpose and why it might seem like it's not working or whatever's going on for you is because you are educating people to a whole new consciousness of understanding about reality, about humanity, about how to function in the world as a spiritual, human, expansive person and the evolution of being stuck in a human body, right? Like this is the reality of your life purpose. It is not something that is on the planet yet. And therefore you are training and educating people on an entire new way of conscious understanding of reality. Like give me some love hearts if you agree that before you came to reality awareness, you had a little bit of understanding about spirituality, maybe, maybe none at all. But from reality awareness, you've got an entire new perspective about consciousness, about humans, about feelings, about how to be in the world. Like give me some love hearts if reality awareness has shifted your consciousness and awareness that before you came across me, you didn't have that level of awareness or consciousness, right? It's a thing, okay? And when people are like, 
my business is not working, my spiritual business is not working, this is not working. And I'm like, guys, you have to remember that your life purpose involves embodying a whole new consciousness of understanding that is birthing and educating the planet and any person you come across, whether online or in person, even just by your vibration, that your life purpose is about shifting the consciousness of humanity. You have ideas, you have awarenesses, you have a sensitive empath heart that is deeply connected in with a conscious awareness of like, hey, that's not right in the world. Why are you hurting that person? You have a solution to the chaos on the planet. It is your duty, your mission, your soul's purpose and your calling to birth that reality. Now, the reason why so many people get kickbacks and telling you you shouldn't do this and that and that, because it's not yet on the freaking planet. Those people don't know what your soul's purpose is, but you can feel it in your heart. And you must, here's the other final piece to this. You must surround yourself with people who are also birthing new things and are, and or other entrepreneurs who haven't, you know, who are also birthing things that are not in the world yet, because that is what we are here to do to change the freaking world, right? Let me know if that makes total flippant sense, right? Total, total sense. Hey, Annie. All right. Robin says, my following of you was from your energy and teachings and yoga class. Awesome. The light filled yoga. That's been on my mind again lately. April says, I had a client who didn't even hesitate to hand over the US fees, even though his cost was well over a K more for him. Exactly. He didn't let wanting support to change or holding back. Exactly. Right. And it's a mindset. And this is exactly what I responded to that person. I said, I totally trust the energy frequency and person that is guided to come into my energy field because you guys know how much you shift with my free content. Right. When you actually step into the, the paying field, whew, total different up level. Right. It's, a t it's an energy. Money is an energy. Yeah, money is an energy. It's like you pay for what you get for, right? You know how, like, for me personally, I won't buy, like, cheap clothes, right? And people are like, oh, you just like brand clothes. And I'm like, well, actually, a, a pair of jeans that I pay more money for that is a good quality and a good brand lasts me, like, five to ten years. Well, I don't know about that long, but, like, definitely four to five years. No, my last good pair of jeans I had, it lasted me, like, four years. And people are like, oh, I wouldn't wear those jeans for that long. And I'm like, well, I'm just saying as a single mom, I prefer to spend more money because I get longer out of them. Whereas a, like a cheap pair of jeans, like one wash and everything falls apart. I'm like, I'm not doing that, right? When you pay for things, the energy is different. Yeah, money is energy. Do you see that? Josephine says, totally, I resonated with you more than everyone else I've come across. Yes. April says, I feel like I had the consciousness expansion quite solidly. Yes, which happened over dozens of years ago but I needed to use it and apply that for the greater good in life. Yes, I was holding myself back many years ago out of fear that the world wouldn't understand me and that you're correct because the world won't understand you. And if you let that hold you back, you hold your life purpose back. You have to remember that you're educating, uh, you're educating the world on a consciousness that you're bringing in to change the world, right? We are going to get kickbacks. We're going to get people who have told us not to do it. We're going to, like, that's a reality of how it works, right? And when you can get past that and be around people who are also doing the thing, right? It's what my life purpose mentorship is for, like any of the tribes, right? Be around people who are doing that to continue to give you the confidence to allow you to birth that, right? Because there will always be naysayers, right? And as I said, that does get less and less the more you step up and that just becomes normal, right? And that's what you're doing. But it, it, is, a, it is definitely a shift. When you first step up, it can knock you quite, you know, strongly, right? So, yeah. Okay, awesome. All right, let me check. I'm pretty sure with this long trading, I don't know, even know how long I've been on here for, uh, an hour and a half or something, I think. All right, so be around people. That last little piece was the pure gold, right? If you remember that, oh my God, you're gonna fly with your life purpose. Like seriously, it's it's the it's the it's the gold. <laughs> it's definitely the gold. Yeah, have to remember that big time. When you don't speak up, you don't find out who needed your message, let alone who was in alignment with your message. Yes, exactly right. It's so important. This is this is the thing about trusting your intuition and what you're being guided to do in your purpose, in your life, in all areas. Yeah, like it's just, yeah, it's definitely a thing and you get it, which is freaking awesome. That's why you're here. 
Okay. All right, so another little tiny piece. So if you are struggling with money or wondering how to change your hate for money or you're like, eh, I don't want to look at it, right? Do a shadow work. Like do the shadow meditation with the intention to speak to money and see what it has to speak to you and, and talk to you about. Yeah? Really, really awesome, simple thing that you can do to be able to start shifting your money reality 100%. So this is awesome. All right, let me just check if there's any last comments here. All right. Thank you so much for joining us live, guys. This has been awesome. So Janae says, yeah, got shivers with beer and other people who are out there doing it. Yeah, 100%. Like, it's so, so huge, right? It's just, it's so important. And you just must remember that you are changing the consciousness of humanity that your life purpose involves that in some way shape or form because you've incarnated as a soul right here right now in the 19th 20th century to change the chaos in the world to create the new earth which is just the way going back to what it used to be but just with a better intention maybe i don't know whatever it's right <laughs> so if you feel like this can help somebody, please tag it, tag, tag their name in the comments. If you're watching on YouTube, you can like and subscribe. And you can also ask me any questions, of course, if you're watching on the replay or you can share it to someone's message inbox if you think that they need to see it. And I shall see you guys soon. You're so very welcome. Thank you for joining live. It's so beautiful to have you all here. Love yours. Yeah, you're so welcome.